Have you ever wished that you could make your spreadsheet dates look different? In this video, we'll see how easy it is to customize your spreadsheet dates into any format you want. When you first enter a date into your spreadsheet, Google Sheets will usually recognize it as a date and format it accordingly, unless you've already applied a different date format to that cell. Let's type the date for Halloween into this cell and overwrite the text. The date is automatically formatted. This is great if you want it to be in that format. Sometimes though, we want the dates to show text for the month or day or display all four numbers for the year. Those are just a couple of examples, but there are lots of ways to format a date. To change a date format, we need to go to the Format menu. Click on Number, then More Formats, and More Date and Time Formats. That's a long path, but it will take you to the window where you can set up custom formats. At the top of the window, there is a field that shows the current format for your date which by default is month, day, year. The parentheses show an example of what the output will look like. In the month portion, we can see that a single digit month will be displayed without a zero in front. Or where the year is, it will display with two digits. Between each portion of the date, notice that there is a slash. This tells Sheets that you want a slash to display in those spaces. This can be anything you want it to be. For instance, I could change the slashes to hyphens. When I click Apply, the date now has hyphens between the numbers. Let's go back into the formatting window. Below the top field, there is a good selection of pre-configured dates and time formats. Formats that you have previously set up will also show up here. Some of these are my formats from other spreadsheets. I'll click on the one that just has a number and the month. In the top field, we can see that the format has been updated. Click on Apply and the date is now shown in that format. This gives you a lot of flexibility for how you can display your dates. Now, what if you don't see a format you want? In this case, you can create your own. Let's go back into the formatting box. We'll clear the field and start one from scratch. What we're gonna do is set up the date so that it displays text for the day, a hyphen, then the full date with slashes. To add a piece of the date, we need to click on the little down arrow on the right side of the field. It's not very noticeable, but it's there. This is where we can select the part that we need. I'll click on Day. To change how the day looks, we need to click on the gray box to see some options. I'll choose Day as a full name. Inside the parentheses, we can see that the full day will be written out. I'll add a space, a hyphen, and another space. Then add the month, day, and year with slashes between them. And I'll change the year to be four digits. Let's apply this and see how it looks. Now the date is formatted exactly the way I wanted it to be. There's a lot of power for customization here. Play around with this in your own spreadsheet to see what kind of date formats you can come up with. If you found this video to be helpful, please click on the like button, share it with others, and subscribe to the channel to keep learning. I usually get a few new videos up each week. See you in another video.